Hawaii is Earth's connecting point to the rest of the universe. The summit of Mauna Kea on the island of Hawaii hosts the world's largest astronomical observatory, with telescopes operated by astronomers from 11 countries. The combined light gathering power of the telescopes on Mauna Kea is 15 times greater than that of the Palomar Telescope in California, for many years the world's largest and 60 times greater than that of the Hubble Space Telescope. Some people think these lenticular clouds are UFOs. No, aliens did not just visit a few telescopes probing for celestial phenomena. The Gemini Observatory on the Big Island of Hawaii recently experienced a close encounter from a cloud that some folks associate with unidentified flying objects, UFOs, but the real explanation is far less alien. It's never about aliens, actually. If at first glance you thought the white shapes on the left look like a flying saucer, then you are not alone. The white oval structures are in fact beautiful examples of lenticular clouds, officials with the UES. National Science Foundation's National Optical Infrared Astronomy Research Laboratory, or NIR Lab, shared Thursday, August 10, in a description of the image, which was taken at Gemini North in Mauna Kea, Hawaii. NIR Lab helps manage Gemini. Lenticular clouds, sometimes called UFO clouds, form when fast winds crash into the side of a mountain or other tall structure, according to the National Weather Service. The United Kingdom's Meteorological Office says these formations are quite common in mountainous regions. When air blows across a mountain range, in certain circumstances, it can set up a train of large standing waves in the air downstream, rather like ripples forming in a river when water flows over an obstruction, the Met Office stated. If there is enough moisture in the air, the office continued, the rising motion of the wave will cause water vapor to condense, forming the unique appearance of lenticular clouds. Lenticular clouds form mostly in the mesosphere, which is the lowest and densest layer of Earth's atmosphere. Roughly 75% of Earth's air is found here, in a narrow zone just 5 to 9 miles, 8 to 14.5 kilometers, in altitude. Image credit, International Gemini Observatory, slash NOR Lab, slash NSF, slash Aura, slash J. Shu, 